uh, is it visible now? Yes, it's clear. Yes. Okay, um, so I think uh, pretty much on the technology side and other things has been covered by the previous speakers. So um, allow me to introduce, my name is Helianti Hilman from Javara, Indonesia. Uh, so basically uh, my uh, sharing will be more about how uh, we rebrand re the Indonesia's heritage food so that we can enter into the wider uh, market. And, and it's very important that even when we are introducing the local flavors that we also uh, adapting to the uh, global standards. So basically the company started 12 years ago because we, uh, we were so inspired by our food biodiversity heritage. Uh, the challenge is how to uh, bridge the gap uh, to the market and uh, bringing it forward uh, for the wider audience of consumers. So um, basically our value proposition is how we bring a product that are, you know, uh, bringing the, the heritage food is not only about romantic for us, but it's about uh, delivering a nourishing um, food for the consumers, uh, but also it's about uh, delivering a healthy quality um, livelihood um, also for the farmers itself. So this is a brief uh, video about um, Javara. Alukadi tasumrabwan numbuk amping bekawan kawan. Aluk garing lasung lasung labwan numbuk amping ditaram. Yeah, so that's uh, the company in more in a nutshell. Um, <clears throat> uh, so basically you can see that we have a, a wide range of products. Um, and uh, in addition to the exports that we've done to over 33 countries, um, as well as national distribution for the uh, supermarkets, uh, hotel, restaurant, and caterings, we also have our own uh, flagship store. Um, so basically what I would like to highlight here is when, um, because our biggest uh, homework in the beginning was about rebranding the heritage food to making it relevant and contextual for the current market. Um, so a lot of uh, things that we have done, actually, we have to come up with integrated business model. Because if anything missing in the supply chain, then the flow of the goods uh, or products to the market will not be happening. So this is where the issue of technical assistance, um, innovation, uh, adoption of technology comes in, because as you are aware that we also uh, are challenged with the climate change that um, changes the profile of how our food artisans are doing the production. 
So uh, when we do a rebranding of Indonesian heritage food, actually there are uh, some key elements that we have to adopt. First is that product innovation is definitely needed because we need to redefine the heritage food to be relevant to the consumers, uh, either current as well as the uh, future market. And then second is that standards and food safety um, certif and certification is very much needed uh, because it builds the credibility uh, and also opens the door for us to access the market, um, uh, the wider market. Uh, but I think also for us, it's very important to build the narratives uh, because uh, Javara is not only about selling the products, but also the story behind the product, the people behind the product, the philosophy behind the product. And our key element on our branding is actually our local wisdom as well as the food biodiversity. So uh, again, um, no matter how hard you do the branding um, of um, our company and our product brand, but if we don't have a good quality of the uh, products, it's impossible for us to be able to build our branding. So this is where the uses of technology um, for consistent quality and supply, as well as adapting to the climate change is needed. So this is also where we have our um, solar dome dryer basically is also help us uh, to adapt with the climate change because right now the, you know, the, uh, the raining season is, cannot be predicted um, as uh, in, in the past. So um, uh, the last things that we have been uh, experimenting is to create our own flagship store because we realize that bringing forward heritage food requires a lot of consumer education and it's important to give them a full experience in terms of the food culture of shop, eat and learn. So we run a number of activities uh, in our um, flagship store, including food workshop, uh, uh, creating a pop-up uh, dining feast, uh, doing food culture tourism, as well as uh, farm visits. So practically, um, that's what I like to share for this afternoon. Um, and um, thank you for the opportunity.